Work harder, not smarter. Don't do it the easy way, do it the hard way. Unfortunately, we failed. You know, let's get involved with nature. Let's do what the world is making us do and not what we humans want to do a lot of the times. I don't know where he's going with that. What's up guys, welcome back. Today we have more work to do at the front of our property. We are continuing to work on our fence. For once and for all, we are finishing the other side, the wood part that we already did a previous episode on the other side. Today we are knocking out the other one as fast as we can. Now that we know what we're doing, it should be pretty fast. If you see me limping around, I did injure myself yesterday. I was jogging and one of the rocks from the driveway slipped from under my foot and I went head first and I sprained my ankle. I'm okay though. I'm gonna be fine. It's just a little bit of a limp. I have it wrapped right now, but we are gonna get to work cause it's already starting to sprinkle right now, but it looks like it's just gonna blow over. Hopefully it does blow over. All right, so as you can see behind me, I saved you guys the monotony of watching me dig post holes. I set all my posts. I got those set in. They're solid. And now I'm going to set my cross beams. I don't know if that's what they're called. That's what I've been calling them. The pieces of wood that go across that the planks eventually do get stuck to. Um, the grade falls here. So what I'm doing to keep the structure and the load as evenly spread on the planks is I'm just following the grade. Um, all the beams are going to slant so that I'm getting a solid measurement, a consistent hold for the plank so that it's not a four foot gap over here and a two foot gap over here. It's going to be one three foot gap all the way down and you really will never see the back of that fence anyway. So I hope that's the right way to do it. So the cross beams are now in place and as Matt said before the grade of the land kind of slopes down on this so we went a lot back and forth if we should just cut the fence completely level all the way across but when we were thinking about doing that we realized at the far end the fence would be so tall it'd be ridiculous so it would have been like almost nine feet tall on that end so just the optic honestly would have looked worse I think Obviously, you're going to see it fall from from the wall here, so it's going to be all straight, and then it's going to kind of fall. But it's not very much, and so it's not that noticeable. It's not that noticeable, and I think it's just going to look a lot better than having it, you know, seven feet here, and then on that end, ten feet. You know, a three foot rise, and the amount it's a 42 feet long. So I don't even know what that is. What's that? A foot every ten or every. So that's a pretty significant rise. It's three feet for 40 feet. So every 13 feet, it's a foot going up. That's pretty significant. So that's obviously what the grade drops here. We just we opted for letting it fall with the uh, with the land. You know, let's get involved with nature. Let's do what the world is making us do, and not what we humans want to do a lot of the times. I don't know where he's going with that, but basically our next step is we're gonna trim down our top post, and then after that, we're putting the planks on. So we're going right along.
right, unfortunately we failed. Yesterday we went to Home Depot trying to get more wood planks because we don't quite have enough to finish the fence. They did not have any good ones. They were all ink stained and messed up. I guess Matt told me with the cheap wood, people just buy those and paint them and do other stuff with them. They don't do what we're doing with them. So it's harder for us to get the planks, but we are gonna continue and move forward today. And we're gonna still try to finish and get as much done as we can. We have what, 44 planks? Something like that, 45, maybe 50. So we'll get a good chunk down the wall, a little over halfway. And then we're gonna have to probably, it looks like go to the Capitol to find the remaining planks and then get the planks for the door that we have to do as well. But you know, it's coming out good. We're getting the hang of it. And you know, all in all, it's gonna be a lot cheaper because the difference in boards is there's boards that are $6 and the next cheapest option is the exact same wood, just like a higher finish, like not as many knots and stains but those boards are $17. So when you're getting 100 boards for each side, the project goes from $600 to $1,700 like that. And it doesn't look $1,000 better to me, you know? So we, we did it the cheap way. We went we went for the low, low. But honestly, it still looks great. It looks beautiful. The contrast of the precision wall with the jungle, it's amazing. So let's get to it. Let's get it done. And let's, let's, let's get this checked off the list. All right, it's kind of sprinkling and raining on us right now, but we don't care. We pretty much put up all the planks that were decent. We have some that are left over that are pretty bad, and we're just gonna put those to the side until we get new ones. So it looks weird right now is because we didn't trim off the top. If you didn't see our previous fence episode, we cut off the top to be where we want it to go. So right now it looks like a mess, but what are we doing now? Yeah, in the no, rain. Now so we can move forward in the rain, something you can do in the rain is we're going to finish with this big pile of gravel that we have left. Now that we know basically where our fence is and we're lifting the cut ends out of the soil and it's just going to be um, gravel there so it can drain so that hopefully rot doesn't come up from the bottom. I don't think that's going to be a huge issue on either side but everyone said to do that so we're going to do it on this side and we'll see how it goes later. But we're going to be able to trim this down, cut all the grass, level it and then put the gravel so that it's going to look relatively finished and then we can finish that fence when we get the planks and just make a little trench for the grass. So we're going to move forward with that because we can do it in the rain.
All right, so we got the mat down, the fabric down. It don't look pretty, but it ain't gotta look pretty. Um, if you make that paper look pretty, you're just weird. It's just to keep the gravel or the grass down, the weeds down. It's one line of defense. Um, but yeah, so we got that down. So now we're gonna get the gravel on. It's gonna look real good. And we're gonna be one step closer. <laughs> All right, Matt did hard working job. Since I couldn't help you scoop this time, I said I could have hurt my ankle. I've been taking it really easy. It's getting better, so good looks on that. But this looks pretty good. It, the, since the fin fence isn't done yet, I kind of told Matt it looks like a DIY project gone wrong. But you know what? <laughs> it's not done. It's coming around. So let us know what you guys think in the comments below. But I'm pretty happy. It's coming right along. We have plenty of gravel, so. Yeah, well, it's good and bad because we got plenty, but I'm gonna end up having to move it somewhere with the wheelbarrow and storing it. And you know, this is just Uncle Maddie's weekly reminder to everyone out there watching to, you know, work harder, not smarter. Don't do it the easy way, do it the hard way because I think that that work, work smarter, not harder is always kind of like a, been a bad advice. You know, you gotta just work hard sometimes. When you got a pile of rocks in front of you, there ain't no way to outsmart it. It's a big pile of rocks. You can't trick it into getting spread out. You just got to do some hard work and get her done. So, you know, I'm starting, I'm flipping it. I'm starting it around. Work harder, not smarter. So just get it done. <laughs> Is that our next merch shirt? Yep. Guys, would yep. you be interested in that? Anybody want a work harder, not smarter shirt? <laughs> copyrighted. It. It's copyrighted. Don't steal it. Um, but yeah, it's uh, going to look fine. I don't worry about it anymore because I know what it's going to look like when I cut it off straight. Um, I know what it's going to look like when I stain it, so it's going to look beautiful. It's going to be great. We're going to have to go to the Capitol probably to source those final planks, which Kristen wanted to look at. There's a garden area, uh, which is a garden center place. Um, <laughs> so she wants to look for some more plants and stuff like that, too. So we'll be taking a trip to the Capitol and doing all that. And then I think it's going to look great, though. It's going to be, you know, from the end of this wooden fence to you know maybe like another 100 feet on both sides it's going to be chain link a little more chain link on that other side because it goes further down the property taller chain link. yeah a little bit taller chain link and then we're just going to let like vines and grass and put plants on that so that that grows through so that'll be a solid thing as well so it'll be really nice it's going to keep you know it's a barrier for the animals it, you know the dogs that come down the street it gives them a chance to turn around and go the other way and the cats and the animals and the goats when they get to this fence on this side it gives them a chance to turn around and come home without just walking straight out because our chickens ran away the other day our upstairs chickens david and his family went and i had to go catch them and upstairs chickens the up upstairs the hill. chickens the uh them jersey giants are fast boy they can those are velociraptors those ain't the little silkies that are kind of easy to run down them jersey giants can boogie
All right, so quick updates on the baby, Sonny and Suge. Um, it seemed like that limp that Sonny had has taken care of itself. She's not limping. She's starting to jump around and bop around a little bit more like Suge. She's still a little smaller. Um, Suge's definitely bigger, uh, more robust, but she was born that way also. She was fatter and like stockier when she was born. So they're doing good. They're both eating. So as of right now, I'm letting all the milk go to the babies. I'm letting them get big and strong. Cause I'm trying to, uh, I'm not trying to be Farmer Dan yet and make my cheese and make my butters and stuff like that. I'm letting them have all of that for about the first couple weeks, but they're creeping up on two weeks old now. They're doing real good. I'm, I'm very happy with them. You know, the goats are coming out, all of them and foraging. I let the mom and the two kids out. They forage for like an hour or so. And then the, I let the ram crash out for pretty much the entire day he runs around fights with the cats and gets buck wild so the goats are doing good cats are doing good chickens are doing amazing i separated the roosters put two upstairs with uncle david and i got two down here and uh, juicy can keep the two in check so all the animals are good on the farm everything is very harmonious